This is the Kansas Archaeological Field School, which is a course through the anthropology program. So we have students enrolled in this program in order to get uh, archaeological field training. This is the first stage in collecting archaeological data. And so we also link this with a research project and so that the students know what it would be like to work on an actual research project while they're getting their training. We learn how to essentially survey the land, uh, map the land using an EDM unit. Uh, we learn how to set up a dig site, um, how to take down a dig site, essentially how to dig, uh, how you layer the ground, and then essentially how to write up the forms when you're all done. And then uh, some days we go back to the lab and sort through artifacts, clean them up. The professors are excellent people and they are like the best to teach you what you need to learn. So I think to see them motivating the students and to see how passionate they are about teaching students their knowledge, it's something that students cannot go without. You know, they need to get to know these professors and need to want the experience because it will help them forever. What we are trying to do here is evaluate this site for its eligibility for listing on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, two years ago when we did the field school, we looked at two sites um, further downstream on Wildcat Creek. One of those was found ineligible. It didn't have much depth, it didn't have much in the way of artifacts. The other one is very interesting. It, we found stuff down uh, as at least as deep as these people are here. We were finding projector points and knives and pottery and it was in an area that hadn't really been plowed. And so that one we determined should be nominated and in January it went on the National Register of Historic Places. 